patience is passion tamed. I'm passionate about all these things. My relationships with others, my professional boxing career, my scholastic endeavors, my career goals. I'm passionate about all these avenues of my life. But I can go out there right now and just strive and strive and strive for a week and I may not make any headway in any of these avenues. In fact, I may take a couple steps back, but I gotta be patient with where I'm at. I gotta be patient that my passion will continue despite the setbacks, that I will keep making those positive strides towards my goals despite any adversity that I face. Patience is passion tainted. and that's the boxing ring. But that's not just life in the ring, that's life outside of the ring. That's seeing the big picture outside the squared circle because it's a fight in here, but guess what, it's a fight out there. We are taught at a very young age that life's about competition. You're sitting in school and you're learning that the people next to you, your friends, you'll be competing with them for spots in college. You're learning that you're gonna compete with your coworkers for promotions. Life is competition, life is a fight. So you fight that fight honorably, and you fight that fight to the best of your ability, and you fight that fight. Content but not satisfied. Content with the moment that you're in, but not satisfied because you want to compete against these people and you want to be better. Four weeks before the toughest fight of Javi's life, his grandfather passed away. His mother is now the only family he has. His real father, his biological father, abandoned him before he was even born. So for Javi, this was losing half of his entire family. I think that pain provides great clarity in our lives about what's important, what matters, and what doesn't. We train to win. We train to have our hand raised in victory. Once the smoke and dust settles and the announcer announces who wins. That's what I think about when I run, when I diet, when I train. Can I get a little bit more out of my body to put myself in the best position to win? But everything that's happening in my life I'm already a winner. I am. No matter what happens that night, I'm a winner. And I believe that that kind of clarity, this pain, this great pain and loss and tragedy has provided in my life, has also liberated me and set me free. Because this, the stigma in life is that if you're not a winner, you're a loser. I don't believe that. I don't believe that if I lose this fight, I'm suddenly a loser in life. Will I have a few less fans? Absolutely. Good. Those fans will drop Javi the person because Javi lost the fight. Well, those are fans that I don't want. If I can inspire people by walking out there, despite all the adversity that I faced, it's great. Because I've used this gift that I've been blessed with, which is being able to fight be able to harvest all my energy and train my body, mind, and soul to go out there, prepare for a competition, it's even better. No matter what happens out there, win, lose, or draw, I won. I won. In boxing, you train yourself to win, but I find that you've, I, I've learned that you find the most out about yourself when you lose. And I believe that the most important thing in life is love. I do. And love you give is love you get. Maybe not necessarily in the avenue that you want, but it's love nonetheless for someone else or somewhere else. My grandfather passed away. I was lost. My mother breaking down. My grandmother had already passed. And it was just her and I. And I was so lost and so empty. And I had these people show up to his funeral and wake. These people that held me, these people that when I collapsed, they were there for me. They held me up, they wiped my tears. That's love. 
and I want to walk out to the most violent experience I'm going to have in the sport. Surround with people that I love. So I'm walking out there with people that cared about me enough to care. People that were there for Javi, the person, the human being. Not Javi the athlete. Not Javi the co-worker. So that's it. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to walk out there. And honestly, this walkout is my victory. Because just to be there, to weather the last four weeks of my life, to die when all I want to do is cheat, to run when all I want to do is sit on the couch and curl up in a ball, to come to this gym and train for two hours a day. I don't know how I did it. I don't. I don't. And that's my victory. My victory is going to be to weigh in, to look him in the eyes, tell him good luck, to walk out there. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Everything else that happens in that ring is irrelevant. But the other day, when that bell rings, I have a job to do. And I'm going to do that job to the best of my ability. May the best man win.